I look, I want somebody looking Reverend, somebody was up at your house and had no business there. Thank you very much. I want somebody looking, Reverend, you, you, you went out of town and, and the children are doing thus and such. Thank you very much. I want you to tell me what's going on. Because if I see your child acting up, I'm going to get on them and, and going to let you know. Amen. Amen. We had a football game the other night. One of our young men came by. He didn't see us. Because we, 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 we were sitting in the section where we weren't expected to be. And he come cruising by. We saw him, hey, what's up? He came, hey, how y'all doing? And the first thing Ms. Jones says, son, why are your pants sagging? I mean, the hello didn't even get out. All right. Son, son, you know better. Pull your pants up. And bless his heart, he said, yes, ma'am. He adjusted his pants. Now, I don't know what he did when he got out of our sight, but he knew when, when, when he walked by there, he knew that the Jones was going to be saying, son, your pants ain't where they're supposed to be. Now, now, please understand, folks, I'm not saying that you go rolling up in some neighborhood where you don't know nobody, and you see some folks out there sagging, and you say, boy, pull your pants up. Because the first thing they're going to say, who are you? <laughs> see, you can't discipline folk that you don't have relationship with. Because, see, you might go upside my head, but if I know your people... See, they, 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 they're going to tell you, you don't want to mess with Reverend. And then I'm going to let them know now, I'm, I'm letting you know that if your son get up in my face when I tell him to do right, right. that, that we're going to have issues. Right. I'm not trying to be mean. That, 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 that's, 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 that's your son, but he's ours too. We, 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 we have to restore that sense of community, that common unity. And then we got to focus on the future of everybody in the community. You just can't sit back and say, well, you know, my kid's doing okay. You know, mine, mine gone off to school. You know, I, I, you know, my grandchildren don't live around here. If you live in here, they're your children. When, what are you talking about, preacher? If you don't get to know them, you know, they, they'd be less likely to break in your house if they know you. Especially if they know that if they step up in there, you're going to call their name and go upside their head. They're less likely to come up in your house. I know folks saying, well, he, 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 he in the fantasy land. No, this stuff works. Try it. See, we, we, we can no longer afford the luxury of my children are doing okay. So, you know, and I'm, you know the rest of the kids, I don't, I don't know about them. See, you know, you know when, when, it, when it hit home for me when my daughters were, were young, and, and my wife said, you know, we need to start praying for their husbands now. I'm like, husbands? They're their babies. I ain't praying for no husbands. Yeah, but see, some of them little boys they in school with, that they playing with, they might end up marrying one of them rascals. Then I start looking. Then you know, I, then, then you know, I had my list, but, 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 but it, 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 it became practical at that point. Wait a minute, if, if, if one of my girls grow up and decide to marry a childhood sweetheart, hopefully it's somebody that I'd poured into. So at least if he's bold enough to step up and knock on my door, he'll know up front. You know, Reverend Jones got a crazy street. He he need to know that up front. I, I, I need to know up front, son, I, I, you know, I'm not holding against you where you come from, but if you got a propensity for certain things, I need to let you know I got some propensities too. So if, if, if we can make our propensities work together, then we're going to be all right. I don't know what the future holds. I know who hold the future. And see, and then I'm not afraid of the future. I'm not afraid of what's going to happen. I'm not afraid of, oh, oh, what's, what's tomorrow going to bring? Look, Jesus said that they bring enough trouble of his own. If we take care of what we need to do today, tomorrow going to take care of itself. But if we put off what we need to do today until tomorrow, not only will it be there when we wake up, but it might be bigger than if we went on and dealt with it now. 
You know, going back to that thing about these little boys, you know, when, when my girls are growing up, wait a minute, wait a minute, they cussing and acting crazy and whatnot now, and I'm thinking, well, you know, she ain't going to be bothered with none of them. And then they come along and, oh, this is, you know, you know so-and-so from the neighborhood, oh, I should have said something a few years ago. No, we need to nip that in the bud now. Son, we have expectations for you. We can't sit back and afford the luxury of saying, well, you know, they ain't got no home training. No, we have to be the home training. And if we do what we need to do in the present, the future going to be all right. And then the final thing is, we got to put this in, in perspective. We have to remember what our mission is as the church. This just ain't the place for us to come feel good on Sunday. Get my shout on, to, to shout my troubles over. That may be a part of it, but that ain't the only reason you're here. You're here to be uh, taught. You're here to be shaped. You're here to understand your God-given destiny and why God created you. He created you to bring glory to his name. He created you to go out and tell somebody else about the goodness of the Lord. He created you to tell a dying world that we serve a risen Savior. He created us so that we would go out and spread the word. He gave us these children to train them up in the way they should go. They, they aren't accessories. They cute when they're newborns, they, when they're arm babies and put all the little stuff. I never could understand why somebody would put Air Jordans on folk who can't walk. They be so cute wearing all their little matching outfit that they only going to wear two weeks because they grow so quick. 